an apparent double murder and suicide in Manatee County. All three victims were found this afternoon inside a home in the 2000 block of 38th Avenue West in Bradenton. It involved two adults and a child. More now on this mysterious story from our Rick Adams. Rick? Yeah, Ray, uh, this is one of those horrible, horrible tragedies. The uh, sheriff's office says one of those killed was actually just two years old. New details continue to emerge in what deputies are treating as a double murder suicide. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office have released the names of two of the three people whose bodies were found inside this home on 38th Avenue West in Bradenton. We're being told that 50 year old Odalis Martinez Castiles and two year old Zachiel Hernandez are the victims in this tragedy. A neighbor who did not want to show her face on camera lives a few homes away. She tells us she was napping when she was awakened by some loud bangs. I heard gunshots. I'm not positive exactly how many I heard. Farbo is a neighbor who lives down the street from where this happened. He and his neighbors are in shock. And it's horrible, especially it's like you have children around, kids, you know, they're playing around. It's like pretty horrible. Deputies received an anonymous call from a man around 2 o'clock Monday afternoon saying there were two dead bodies in the front yard of the home. When deputies arrived, they didn't find any bodies outside, but discovered three bodies inside the home. This has been an active crime scene for many hours now. Investigators are still trying to figure out exactly what transpired at the home back there. A motive has not been determined, but investigators are taking a hard look at some domestic issues. We know that we've been here in 2009 for one domestic uh, violence report and uh, in talking to some of the neighbors, there is uh, sometimes a lot of arguing that goes on at this residence. A woman who wanted to remain anonymous says she was friends with the female who was killed. She says they would sometimes confide in each other. She would just say that he was a really jealous man, but that was pretty much all she, she would say. The identity of the third person involved in this double murder-suicide has yet to be released, but the sheriff's office says he is a man in his 50s. And authorities are continuing with our investigation. When we hear any more about this, we'll certainly pass it along to you.